Hey guys, it's Facebook Live Friday and I'm here to say hello and happy Friday. Uh, I just did an Instagram post and um, I've been feeling a little fried <laughs> this week and I'm like, is it fried day or is it fry yay? So what is it for you, Friday or fried day? Um, anyway, uh, yeah, it's been a, it's been a long week and, uh, if you're here online with me live, say hello. I'd love to say hello to you. Um, but it's been a long week and I'm happy it's Friday and I have some work to do this weekend. So I don't have a full, uh, weekend off, but I am very, very grateful for the work. And I have my dandelion tea here today with my favorite Virgo cup. And I'm super excited today to talk with you, uh, about control. Control, control, control. I'm hoping this is live because it says it is, but oh, there we go. There's some people online. Hi, Wendy. Uh, so today we're talking all about control and how what you try to control controls you. And if you think about it, anything we try to control has control over us. And we really can't control anything, to be honest, and control is just an illusion. And, but what we can do is make a choice. That's how I love to see it. We get to make a choice. And that is really going to be the key in terms of your eating. So when I talk to uh, clients or strategy, um, people in strategy sessions, what I often hear is, I just want to get my eating back in control. I feel really out of control. And the first thing I say is, congratulations, congratulations. It means that you feel like you're getting out of control, but you're in a really good place to start to actually look at that and why you wanted to have so much control over food. Having control over food does not serve us because it ends up controlling us and we end up giving our power away to it. So you know, anything in our lives that we try to have that much control or we try to like white knuckle through or, you know, we want to keep it in a little box. And oh my God, there were so many things in my life that I tried to control. And it was because I grew up in an out of control environment. Nothing around me was in control. And so I did everything without even knowing. It was very um, unconscious, but I did everything to create a controlled environment. And um, it's just, it was just kind of my defense mechanism, right? And that's what we do. We try to control things in our lives as a defense mechanism because the bottom line is we don't wanna get hurt or we don't wanna feel hurt. Everyone's afraid of feeling hurt. Everyone's afraid of feeling some bad emotion or sad or whatever it is, but we're always trying to protect ourselves. And that's what control is really about. It's about when we're trying to control things that we're trying to protect ourselves. So it's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's just not possible to control anything. I mean, if you think about it, it's like you can try to, but there's so much more happening and there's so much more at play than our tiny little minds and what they think they can control. And, um, you know, out in the universe, there's just so much out there that we, there's just no way we can control anything. But what we can do is make a choice in the moment, each and every moment we get to make a choice. And that really is going to be something that will help us feel safe in the world and help us feel aligned in the world and help us feel like, I don't want to say that we're protected because it's not about being protected from being hurt, but it's really about how we show up in the world and we get to have a choice each and every moment about how we show up. And do you want to be someone who's always like tight and controlled and in a box and needing to have things look a certain way? Or do you want to be someone that's more free flowing and really trusting and allowing life to flow and come? Hi, Wendy, I can't throw food away ever. I have to eat it all. Yeah, that's a big one. So, and that really is a learned behavior. When we're kids, we learn that behavior. We learn to clean your plate or you can't get up from the dinner table. And it's it just becomes so ingrained in us. And the thing is, instead of needing to throw away food, just start smaller, you know, just eat less portions and then save the rest. 
that's like a really good solution to that quote unquote problem. And, you know, we really, in the bigger scheme of things, we just can't control anything. We can't control our friends. We can't control our spouse. We can't control um, our boyfriend or girlfriend. We can't control our kids. We can't control, you know, there's just, we just, we don't have control over things, but what we do have is choice. So I want you to keep that in mind that choice is always the thing that's going to serve you the most. So I want to give you an example of uh, a time when I was trying to control everything. So this was back in the 90s and early 90s and I um, I loved to throw dinner parties and I would cook all the time and um, I'd cook these like big elaborate spreads and you know and I do it all on my own because I thought I have to do it on my own because no one else can do it like me no one else knows like it's got to be me I'm doing it all on my own and at the time I had a boyfriend and he was such an amazing guy and his name was Mark and he would come in the kitchen and try to help me and everything he did I would tell him he was doing it wrong or I'd be like don't do it that way or don't do it that way and he he just said to me he was like gosh, why do you have to control everything? And that was like such a huge moment for me because number one, I felt really bad that I was being so controlling and kind of mean. And, and it just opened my eyes to like, oh my God, I am controlling things and I'm not even realizing it. And that moment was so huge for me because from that moment on, I started to learn more and more how to allow help in my life, how to ask for help, how to open more space and how to like really let go of this tight grip that I had on things. You know, anytime we have a tight grip on something, it's always going to control us no matter what. So you want to start to loosen your grip a little bit, you know, just really allow yourself to be so that you can trust yourself. So what happens is that when people feel like they're getting out of control with food, they think that they're gonna put on like 50 pounds or 100 pounds or that they're just getting really big and fat. And it's just because they don't trust themselves, you know, and they're not listening to their bodies, they're listening to this. And I always talk about this and how that gets us in trouble and how that is not really the guide that we wanna be following. We wanna be following the guide here. And so, you know, it's it's really important to just start to let go a little bit and to really allow yourself to listen to that deeper voice, that higher voice, not the one that's going to keep you small and keep every little detail in control or every piece of furniture in place and every blanket folded perfectly and all of that. And it's just, you know, when it comes to food, you it's so important to start to take steps to learn how to trust yourself. And that's so much of what I do in my work and my coaching with people and in my programs is really start to, that's one of the things I do among many, um, is start to teach people how to trust themselves again because all this insanity with food and dieting and needing to be in control and feeling out of control um, is just keeping us stuck in the vicious cycle. So anytime we try to control our food or we wanna gain back control of our food, we're just basically saying that we don't trust ourselves and so it's a journey of self-trust and so how can you let go a little bit today and start to trust yourself what's one thing that you can do and so i'll give you an example so for me uh, one way that i trust myself is to really tune in to what my body wants and to just slow down and listen you know, like what is it that my body wants? Am I really hungry? Can can I feel my hunger? And if I'm hungry, physically hungry, what does my body want for nourishment? And the more and more I do that, the more and more I tune into that and give my body what it wants and needs, the more I can trust myself and my body. Because what happens is that we often stop trusting our bodies and that's what all of this crazy dieting does and that's what all of this restriction does it just continues to put us at a battle with our body. And I was talking to someone yesterday who is now a new client of mine and I'm so excited. Um, and she was sharing with me how she just doesn't, does not trust her body. And she just, you know, spent so many years yo-yo dieting and, um, you know, this diet and that diet. And she's just so confused and 
she's kind of getting to um, a later age now and she really wants to move into retirement being super, super healthy and feeling really, really good. And, um, you know, and she just was sharing with me that she just didn't even know what that meant really to trust herself. So um, it's just, I, I just feel so honored to be able to work with people who are so open to making radical change because I understand that this work is radical and that um, it's not a quick fix and it's not something that happens overnight and you have to really want it and really be committed to it. But oh my God, the amount of transformation that happens and um, I think I shared with you guys last week about the cleanse I was on and how in the past if I had gone on a cleanse, I would just like lose my mind and go on a binge and just feel so deprived and so restricted. And I have to say like, I sometimes I'm amazed at how incredible I can move through this situation now in such a different way. And like today, I was, um, I came home from volleyball and I had a, a client call and then I was, I heated up, it was around 11 and I heated up some broccoli soup with millet and that was what my body wanted. And it was like 11 o'clock, it wasn't lunchtime, it wasn't breakfast, but that was what my body, I had already had a smoothie earlier cause I wake up really early, but that was what my body wanted. And although there's things I'm kind of like missing, I'm so, like wanting to just eat really well and I feel so good and I'm totally off caffeine, which is just green tea. That was what I, that was my vice, my matcha. And I love it, but I'm totally off of it and I feel so good and I feel like I'm, although I'm not still doing all the raw food, I'm doing mostly raw food and I'm eating only whole foods, nothing processed. And I just feel so good and so empowered. And in the past, it always felt so grueling to me and it felt like I was being so deprived and that oh my god when I'm done this I can't wait to eat a bag of chips or this or that and it's just such a different experience and I want that for all of you who struggle with food to be able to you know just be in a place where you can really trust your body and listen to it and feel good and not have all the insanity insanity it's insanity and remember, we can't solve a problem with the same mindset that created it. So if you're trying to solve the problem by yourself with the same mindset that created it, it's you're just not going to get anywhere. You know, we need to have someone to guide us. We need to have someone to reflect to us. And I've been through this and I also have tons of training. So, you know, I know that when you're trying to white knuckle and control everything, that you are being controlled and you're giving your power away uh, to food. So what can you do? over this weekend and into next week to start to let go a little bit, open the valve a little bit, just let go a little bit and start to see if you can listen to that small inner voice and see what it has to say and see where it guides you instead of all of the craziness that goes on in the head about, oh, this food, that food, that diet, this restriction, that, you know, it's just crazy, it's insanity. So tune in to yourself and listen and learn to trust yourself step by step. You know, it's not like, sometimes we feel like we have a mountain to climb and all we wanna do is look up at the top and we just wanna be at the top. But really, it's all about keeping your eyes forward and going slow and steady one step at a time and all of a sudden you'll get there and you'll be like, whoa, how did I even get there, right? You just keep your, keep your eyes forward. And so that's my share for today. It's Facebook Live Friday. As always, you can go to my website. I have so many great free gifts on there. I have recipes, karmachild.com. Sign up for my list if you're not on it. I'm always sending out awesome information. I'm also doing my 30-day cleanse starting on the 17th, and it's 97 bucks right now, you guys. Um, I used to sell the cleanse for 325, so it's 97 bucks right now. And uh, it's on my website if you're interested in that, karmachild.com under cleanses, work with me. And um, the, the discount's only good till Sunday night. So if you wanna join in and eat some really amazing food and just give yourself a reset as you move into summer, then come on and join me. But I'll see you guys next Friday. And um, until then, peace and love to you. Drink your tea, trust yourself. Bye you guys.